So today, um, I'm at this truck, and it actually has a couple issues. I'm going to go ahead and actually show you the issues. One of them. Yeah. So let me open up the hood. Oh yeah, I gotta watch that side. So Ooh. thought I was strong. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so on this truck, there was, yeah, here it is. So basically, the uh, oil dryer, as you can see, was leaking with oil very, very badly. This engine is uh, cold right now, but it was leaking really bad. You can see the uh, oil on the floor. And then also, crawl from underneath here. It was also leaking the oil coming from out of the airbag and also try and get a better angle here. So you can see it was also coming from on there. Uh, yeah, from underneath there on the relay. So that was that. So this was the code that is now uh active so i looked these codes up already so uh compressor intake pressure and uh same thing so that's the code there's a few things i'm going to check i did have just one concern and that was the oil spillage coming from over in there I'm gonna have to get a light or basically yeah right there all alrighty so this is where I'm at in the diagnosis so we looked up the code first thing we check here is the is the uh, dang I my flashlight is the uh, intake air filter I looked all in there and everything like that Here's the filter. It's not that bad. I've seen worse. So then the second is to check your cream case ventilator. Uh, cream case ventilator is going to be on the uh, left side of the engine. And it's going to be sitting right there. All these bolts right there are eight millimeters. Here it, here it is right here. And um, you can see this filter right here is the filter. So this part right here is usually clear. It's usually, you know, how a new filter looks. So in terms of backed up and everything like that, this thing comes out as a whole. So there we go, coming out as a whole. But uh, it's going to be changed, though. But other than that, it's not my problem because I didn't have a code for that. This is your, over here, is your crankcase a ventilator sensor so you could take that off and clean it in this case I'm not going to right now because that's not the code as we saw it's not the problem so I'm gonna get this over here out the way get the cover out the way I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna go right there below let me try. I'm not sure if you can see, but I got the connector popped off over there. And that is your intake manifold pressure sensor. And that sensor here is located over here. Again, on the left side, driver's side. I'm going to pop that off and I'm going to uh, check it out. So let me get an 8 millimeter on the other side and then go ahead and take that off and show you. I guess you can say, real life mechanic this is what i go through so it just got done like raining super hard just a minute ago but it's cool rain or shine that can't stop me but other than that though 
We're gonna try and get back up here and show you what I took off the uh, intake pressure manifold. Oh, dang, all that water. Man, this gimbal. Hey, right. gimbal won't stay still. I'm telling you, you guys, bear with me, I'm trying to learn it. Uh, there we go. All right. So here's the intake manifold pressure sensor. As you can see, uh, it's all oily, and it's not supposed to be this way. Oh, come on! It just went. There we go. So there. Uh, so this is gonna need to be replaced. So that was, uh, this is uh, something wrong here. Oh man. Not saying that that's gonna be the root of our, our problem, but uh, it could definitely play a part. So taking pictures there, there we go. So that came out of there. I don't know if you can see that hole right down there. So that's where that came out of. You wanna be gentle and be careful. I'm gonna try and stick my flashlight in there. And see if I can kind of see anything. I hate to be like a bear of bad news, but dang it, that is not good. So I am taking off the charge air cooler hose, the charge air cooler right here. And uh, yeah, it definitely has oil. Crap, all that oil just went everywhere. I'm so clumsy. That is not good. Yes, yeah, so there's oil running all through that charger cooler. And, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of oil. gone here it's like it only works when I push down on it it's kind of aggravating yeah different size on this side so this like I said this truck was bought and it was bought used and he hasn't really ran it a lot so looks like they patched it up so you can see And there, that's the charge air cooler. And it's not so as bad on this side. I'm trying to get this to focus. Probably zoom in. So yeah, you can see the fins in there and everything like that. The oil is definitely running through here. So I'm gonna have to let this customer know that before I even move any further. We're gonna get a turbo, but it's gonna need more than a turbo. This whole system is gonna need to be at least cleaned out because oil in there is not a good thing. So over here, it goes back into here and comes out the other end. Now, I have the DPF taken off already and there is no soot in terms of oil coming back here yet. So, as you can see up here, this is where the uh, track back, so. I guess that's me just basically seeing uh, how bad it is, as in how far has it gotten. So it hasn't reached there yet. But yeah, definitely not good. So now it really explains why this part is painted and so tight to get off. Because they probably did it like that so it wouldn't expose itself. And pretty much, yeah. 
that oil leak coming from over there is just most likely just oil. Yeah, just escaping. So, oh boy.